The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, uh, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Vernon Malay. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 Nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Good morning, I'm Nico Dehan, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced, natural, wild world. To recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms. And I'm Paige Clark, and good morning. And it's a beautiful day in downtown Clearwater, 73 degrees, partly cloudy, and we're all just kind of waiting for that storm to come and see what happens. Oh my goodness. You know, you and I talked about it on the last show that we kind of seem to uh, miss storms and here in the Tampa Bay, thank goodness, knock on wood somewhere. Yeah. Um, and there's been some story that maybe that had some Indian basis, but maybe we'll explore the storm more. But if you know, if you have any questions about the show, contact me, Paige, at TFN.com. And Nico at TFN.com, and we are taking your phone calls at 877-927-6648. So I looked at the track of the tropical uh, cyclone here. Of course, it's hitting Haiti right now. Quite a large storm. I mean, this is a monster. It really is a monster. Category four, right? Category four, maybe uh, up to the fringes of five later on, uh, if it does strengthen a little bit. It's going to take a little curve after it uh, hits the uh, the coast of um, Cuba, Cuba here. And then it's going to kind of veer more west towards us. There's a few tracks that are really showing a more central Florida hit in a couple of the things. So there's a lot of uh, conjecture out here that uh, we may just, again, pass it by. But uh, quite a large storm, so even if it doesn't touch land, I think we're going to feel the effects of it here. Then the people more in the uh, Carolinas what's the, here. Yeah, what's the date? Well, this uh, right now we're talking about it being off of the coast of uh, St. Augustine probably on Thursday or Friday. Hmm. It's moving kind of slow right now, so... Just like up north when they hunker in for a snowstorm. We, yeah. We hunker in for hurricanes. Yeah. Kind of make sure you have everything prepared. Yeah. Just in case. You, did, have you prepared for this one? I always have extra water. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't um, have a lot of packaged food, but, except that I actually have some ancient type grain type mm -hmm. things like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm semi prepared. How about you? Yeah. Oh, I'm always prepared for this. Yeah, because so, I uh, do enjoy the process, kind of like, yeah. you know, kind of like a little bit of prepping. But I've always got extra food on hand. And uh, right now, my, my uh, freezer is stocked with meat. So I'm all set with that. Probably I've got three months supply. So, what of would meat. you do if a storm came in your freezer? You know, of course, we had no electricity for weeks on end. And yeah, all well, that I've, meat. I have a extra generator. generator. Yeah, I've got a whole house generator, which has about 10 to 14 days of fuel. I've got two great big tanks out back of propane. Mm -hmm. Then I have a small generator as a backup. That yeah, I'm not that organized. Before. I know that that's important. Yeah. Um, well, it helps too. And of course, uh, the less that we use that, the longer it goes. So uh, we take all the big electronics off and only use one computer at a time, that type of thing, and really try to stretch it out. We have a lot of water. I've got probably uh, maybe 100 gallons of water on hand that I keep on hand, sort of rotate it Rotate it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm always prepared for these. Uh, hopefully, you know, we don't need it, but if we do need it, it's, uh, I've gone through about seven of these storms, uh, mostly in South Florida, a couple up here. Mm -hmm. But none of them have been that bad up here, but, you know, You know, the last time we had storms up here, I don't know, it was like 2005, you know, mm -hmm. we kept having these hurricanes and threats, and I was in the middle of putting a new roof on my house. Oh, boy. Tile. So the tile company delivered the roof tiles, and then because they were waiting on the weather to dry up, they'd literally have to come and take them all off the roof mm -hmm. because of the threat of the storm, and then get them craned back up. It was really something because oh they, you know, they weren't allowed to leave them up there because they could become yeah. flying. Yeah. I remember that was really quite an ordeal. but. I think it's a, a really good thing to stop and think about being prepared. Many times people who are preppers are ridiculed for being prepared, but I don't think anyone ridicules them at a time 
where well we actually have several countries now uh, one of them being uh, Germany last year has told year. their people no Germany to told last week they again, again yeah has told their people to prepare also uh, Poland has said that uh, Norway and Sweden uh, have already told their clients that uh, you need to prepare yourself for maybe a couple of months of food stock and in Germany it was mandatory to have two weeks on hand at all times yeah I had uh, you know for some reason that same <clears throat> Um, preparedness message to, is not is not in any way uh, distributed to the American people, and that might be something we need to take a look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a bunch of different people than anywhere else in the world, which is good and bad uh, too, and uh, we see that in our election cycle. But I think uh, you have to take storms seriously. I think just uh, just the news of the last couple of years that we are probably going to a grand solar minimum put me on edge to start this preparation, not being uh, crazy about it, but just logically having some food on hand in case the grid does go down, and that's the highest possibility I see. We always have our electricity go out in our area uh, when there's any storm. It might be just for a few hours, but Which sometimes... Which just me always wonder why we don't have the funds in Florida to bury more of the power lines, so that wouldn't be an issue, but we still... In our part of Florida, we have a lot of overhead power, power yeah. lines still. But and actually in the uh, electric universe type of thing, uh, overhead is much safer than uh, on the ground. Is it really? Yeah, not from a maintenance standpoint. But because of the different, uh, you know, if lightning strikes, it hits the poles first. If, if they're underground, they're going to hit the ground first. Mm. So you've got a little barrier between us and, and uh, the uh, power grid. I never really grid. thought so, of it that way. Yeah, so that's uh, the consensus for that. But uh, it does look a lot nicer, and there's a lot less disruption. Yeah. And we're the reason we got the generator uh, uh, the last year is because we're the last house on our grid. So anytime anything goes out, we're the last seven houses that come back up. You're the last, that, first to go down and last to come back exactly. up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, you know, we're always waiting. That one storm we had in the 90s, or in the uh, 2005, I think it was, yes. where Charlie was coming up. Yes. And we were out for five days, and I was having that little generator, and I was actually, with that little 5,000 BTU generator we were having, we were uh, both neighbors on both sides of us, and us had enough electricity for our food and for uh, not any AC or anything like that, but you get the fans going. So. If something really happened, you would not be the prepper they're making fun of. No, yeah. no. Then I there's other people smart. that argue, um, and that I find this quite infuriating. Uh, well, if something like that happens, everyone's going to break into your house and take your stuff, and, you know, it's going to be all crazy, and so why prepare? I don't like that attitude. Well, that too, and of course you can secure your house a little bit better and you can arm yourself a little bit better, but mm -hmm. I think one of the sensible things to do when things like this happen is start talking to your neighbors. How are you prepared? What do you have? Here, here's things we can share and here's things, let's look out for this. This is what happened last Sounds time. Sounds like a tribal movement. Well, of course it is. And it should be. It, it has to be because you have to rely on the people that are close to you. That's However, the main thing. today I think if you really ask a lot of people, they find out they really don't know their neighbors well. Uh, and uh, it's hard. You know, I know my neighbors on both sides and a couple around the neighborhood, but not very well. I mean, we mm -hmm. say hello and we converse, but yeah, that's the, that's the sad truth of today because we don't need them right now because we have our, all this artificial protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, and that protection of knowing your neighbor, loving thy neighbor, working together, exchanging with the neighbor is kind of gone in today. Yeah. And this is the time when you need it. But yeah. um, What we have today, though, is a brand new uh, Health Signals newsletter. So I want you to be sure to get Good that stuff. out. And it starts off with, do we really need to eat our vegetables? I think we do. But a uh, great article on that. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please here join us. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. Today on the show, Nico and I want to share a little information. Uh, some of it is... Um, is heartbreaking and some of it is actually uh, encouraging and I stumbled upon a video called the human cost of agrotoxins and this video was done and the artwork and the photography was done by a Pablo Piavano and uh, it's not new in fact I think it's a, a few years old but it's it really sh details in uh, photojournalism the plight of what's going on in Argentina a country where there are something like 200 million tons of Monsanto's glyphosate being sprayed on the agricultural area. And I feel like somehow or another the country was amiss in allowing this to happen. But the photojournalist uh, details in quite, you know, in very touching way uh, pictures of some of the deformities that are occurring. Uh, the skin lesions, and uh, on the telestrator behind us, I think we have a, a child who was three years old and was born with ichthyosis, a skin disorder that causes the skin to be dry and cracked. It is, um, it's disturbing, but some of the actual structural deformities are extremely disturbing. It's about a four or five minute video, and um, I think we need to take a look at this and really try and take pause as to why are we allowing this chemical giant in these days while we're watching Monsanto and Bayer become the largest corporation in the world uh, agrotoxin business. Why are we allowing this to happen? And what possibly could be their reason for creating these um, these sicknesses and, and death in these countries? You you really want to try and figure out how what the logic is on that? Well, this is the first survey of areas affected by glyphosate spraying in Argentina and revealed that 13.4 million people, one third of the country's population, are affected. This started, uh, this survey started in 19, uh, 2012, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, 370 million liters of the agrotoxins were used uh, over. Uh, 21 million hectare acres, which represents pro approximately 60% of the country's cultivated land area. 60% of the country of agriculture is being sprayed with Monsanto's 
glyphosate. Yeah. This meant that in a decade, uh, cancer causes in children increased threefold, and malformations in newborn babies went up 400 percent. So there seems to be a direct correlation between the uh, agrotoxins and what is happening to these people. It's creating extreme genetic mutations, and they really are rather disturbing. Some things you probably have never seen. Yeah. Uh, Argentina approved the GMO, uh, genetically modified organism, without... What were they thinking? What, uh, without consulting their own studies. They allowed uh, Monsanto to provide them yeah. with studies. They're taking as scientific evidence only the works of that were published by the Monsanto, or now the Bear Company. And uh, this is, of course, they're spraying uh, this in the crops, which is usually corn and soybeans. Uh, things like that and of course the reason we're spraying these things and they're really broad spraying this stuff because uh, they're putting they want the plants to absorb this uh, and have it on them for you know a long time so they have this thing in the pest control business when I was in it in the 80s they have these things called stickers mm -hmm. and this is a uh, formula that helps it stick to the plant cannot be washed off or rained off and you can't really scrub yeah. this stuff off. that's why it's important either. to get organic yeah um, and, and uh, this has been called the photos of how glyphosate is killing Argentinians. And um, he's, uh, really, you know, he's released these very daring photographs that uh, really detail this. I mean, look in the background. I don't know if people can see this on the Telestrator, but behind the woman is a young girl who has a very, no, down, down, this one here? no, in the middle. Oh, this right one, there. oh, the back, yes. Yeah, I mean, wow. she's ex extremely uh, deformed. deformed, yeah, and this is what's happened as a result of this. Now, you, you tend to wonder, why would they be spraying a population like this? Would they like the population to go away because maybe there's other things they certain organizations would like to have? That's my thoughts on this. This makes absolutely no sense. Well, certainly one of the things that you can think about when, when you see this going on and on, when we've had so much information about... Uh, companies, you know, we've heard from India, we've heard from Indonesia, we've heard from Russia, and a lot of countries are really getting away from doing this. Uh, I know the EU as a whole always wanted this. Yes, but point I and counterpoint, now we see countries in general are just voting to 100% eliminate. Yes. I just got having trouble with the mic today. Um, they're having um, votes to totally kick this country this company out of their country and yeah. then yet you know, we see co countries like Argentina that seem to have in my opinion probably been taking extreme advantage um, well there are companies remember the coca-cola thing where they uh, gave the Board of Education in Mexico a year's free uh, coca-cola and they could reap the benefits of uh, having those machines in and getting everybody hooked on coca-cola in uh, Mexico. So now when you go to Mexico, you see everybody drinking Coke because they had this for a long time. So the same thing kind of happens with the GMOs. First, you get a, gets one farmer started on it. And then, of course, you have the uh, idea, too, that if you have drift of these GMO crops, then these crops don't belong to you. They actually belong to Monsanto. But there's another thing that we have to think about, and that's the seeds. These seeds are made not only with the glyphosate in it, but also so they can't reproduce. Well, the whole point of that is so that the farmers, has to, to eliminate buy. the farmer, the farmer has to buy the seeds Every from Monsanto. Year. It's commercialization of our food supply. It's theft of our food supply is what it is. It's also Into the hands criminal. of a very few people, like so many other things in this country, yeah. that the control of the media is in the hands of a very few people. The control of drugs and healing is moving into the hands of a few people. And now our food and our water. Yeah. And, uh, you know, of course, we, you can only buy this from Monsanto, uh, and they're doing more and more away from having seeds that reproduce themselves, which is really the staple of agriculture, folks. I remember you, you start uh, by uh, growing something, and then you have the next year's crop in your hand. Well, that was the whole idea of the farmer. Right. <laughs> and the farmer would save their seeds, and this was a real big part of producing healthy food for us. But, you know, I, I actually did a search on this video. Just, I like to, when I find a topic that's mm -hmm. interesting, I like to see what other people around the world are saying and how they're sharing, and this has been widely shared. Please take the time, Google or go to your Facebook, The Human Cost of Agrotoxins by Pablo Piovano. Just put in the title, it will come up. Yeah, Piovano is spelled P-I-O-V-A-N-O. -O. Yeah, you'll I think that if you just put there. in The Human Cost of Agrotoxins, you'll, you'll find, find it. it yeah. But what, what it really does is uh, so many people, here are some of the comments, 
The picture reminds me of the mercury-poisoned youth being uh, bathed by a parent as a result of the Minamata disaster. Mm-hmm. So again, we're seeing these toxic heavy metals. Uh, we know what's going on with glyphosate. If you have any question and want to understand how this dangerous toxic petrochemical um, affects the human genome, go to Stephanie Senoff's site. Remember, MIT researcher. She's mm-hmm. really pretty much, I believe, one of the authorities. And, you know, we've got countries like Canada saying, look at this, what's going on? Hopefully, we're not going to follow the plight. Look at the Americas and their, what their company's producing. And, uh, again, many people just expressing dismay at this. And why don't we see this? Why, why are these pictures, why does this not get out? Anyone who would see what's happening to these people would start to, look at this. This is the one that really disturbs me. You know, yeah, why, why would we case. not see this? Because there's certain people that don't want us to see this, and it's uh, we have to seek out and educate ourselves. Number here is 877-927-6648. Agent, hey, I'll be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And welcome back to the show, folks. Of course, we have the chat room uh, being uh, very lively this morning, which we really do appreciate. And uh, they're uh, really talking about uh, the uh, Monsanto and the bear. And, uh, you know, of course, bear was originally from uh, Germany. 
So mm -hmm. a lot of conspiracies, be conspiracies about Germany tied to Nazis, tied to the Bayer Company. When you say and the conspiracy, though, that denotes a, a lesser um, validation of it. So let's just well, say well, people well, should do their own research on that. Yeah, of course. When I say conspiracy, it doesn't mean it's not right or yeah. real. But, uh, you know, there are, is another side to this, too, because in our type yeah, of see, living... See, you know, stop using that term. That, that takes yeah, away so let's me. say truth. Yeah. But, well, well, no, let's not even say truth. There's information that people need to, to research. But let's go on the other counterpoint, point counterpoint. Well, one of the things I wanted to mention, first of all, that uh, when we think of companies like Bayer and like Monsanto, and there's a lot of other companies and small situaries situ of these, we think this is the food industry. But in truth, they're only a small part of the food industry. They're trying to capture the whole thing with these seeds and with this glyphosate to make it sort of easier on the farmer. But in truth, most of our food around the world comes from small little farmers and from small little net organizations such as farmers markets where people buy local, people buy food that is grown in their area. That's the way it works in most of the uh, world not in the United States so much. They and say we can feed the world if we all have a, you know, a little four by four square in our backyard and maybe that's what we need to do and you know, we just, peaceful resistance, we just do something different. But in the first place, uh, buying local, you know, we just had a new uh, store open up in Seminole. We went there on Saturday to look at it. Of course, Earth it was Fair. Earth Fair. Mm -hmm. Beautiful store, and the meat in there was really, really good. So Yeah, they have those up in Tennessee. That's where my they? sister used to shop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, I think it's a, a good chain. It seems to be, and they're opening a few in our area, and uh, it's a really nice competition to our local a little uh, place that we go to is Nature's Food Patch. So this is a nice alternative, and it's an area where they we really haven't had uh, health food stores within like 15 miles or so. So this is really a boom, and the place was b booming, I'm telling you. You know, the people, this is... Uh, better than going to a Publix or Winn-Dixie or any of these other stores because you know these people are at least at the outset starting to get the point of saying no hormones, no glyphosate, uh, everything is local, everything is uh, farmed uh, uh, in a, with a spiritual tone to it and people uh, that are buying it are the same thing. I mean that meat counter I couldn't even get near, I'm going there today just to, because there's no lines today I hope. <laughs> well, good, good. So the good news is that we, we are seeing um, people turning to healthier foods. And one of the best things you can do is just say no to GMO for your health. Uh, give, whether you even follow a paleo primal diet, if you can make sure you get the genetically modified foods out, you're really making great steps. But taking it a step further, go organic, take another step further, go local, take it even further, grow your own food. But we found an article called Slow, Clean, Good Food. Yeah, and this is actually a movement. It's yes. a slow food movement, and it grows in depths and numbers every day. This year, 7,000 people gathered from 140 countries to discuss clean, fair, and good food and how we will make that happen. And, uh, you know, it's a moment in history for the food. As we are watching, as we mentioned earlier, the largest corporate merger in history, Bayer Chemicals purchase of Monsanto for $66 billion. So with, quote-unquote, crop protection chemicals that kill weeds, bugs, and fungus seeds, and it's all, as we mentioned, likely to be banned in Europe. That's good news. Glyphosate, also known as Roundup, you know. So, you know, we, sometimes we just have to, you know, ask the question, you know, how big do these companies have to be to be happy? Well, there's another side to it, too, because... In contrast. Uh, the thing is, is that food is what they're calling in this article the security of our society mm -hmm. okay that security will not be found in larger uh, corporate mergers the indigenous farmers are already producing up to seventy percent of the food in communities while industrials uh, industrialized agriculture with its thirteen trillion dollars in investments cannot actually feed the world like you said earlier. Wouldn't it be cool to go to this slow food thing? As Nico mentioned, it was 7,000 people gathered for the 140 countries and um, food is not just produced by forcing others from their land uh, or poisoning the ecosystems of underpaid farmers. You know, this is the conference where we're focusing on cool cheeses and meats, amazing produce, lots of chocolate. And he said that those are the people that come, come to relo reload themselves with energy and self-esteem. And um, it really makes you realize that 
the existing farmer, the true farmer, the real farmer, is undervalued, and yeah. we need to see more of it. And another thing to bring up, too, of course, the problems we had in South Florida, and we have this around golf courses and things like that. We have so much fertilizer that is being washed into streams that we have these algae blooms, we have these fish kills, we have the dumping of water when it rains too much, and folks, it's going to be raining for a while along the East Coast because of this hurricane. Yeah. Uh, you know, these are things that is right in the back of my my mind when I when I think of the storm when I think about food is the dumping of all these chemicals into the places where we get our food you know this runoff uh, is directly going into our environment where we live and breathe and we feel the effects uh, I've mentioned on the show before for the past six or seven weeks now I've had this little uh, frog in my throat it seems to be dissipating now I think maybe the storm is clearing the air a little bit thank goodness for storms just to do that sometimes that actually helps yeah, yeah. but uh, we've got to think that this is such a toxic world and the, and the time to change it is today we can't wait till tomorrow no. so you know, buying local, buying from these people who are producing food that is good for us is so essential because this is what's going to change these companies and maybe make them rethink what they're doing. I don't know. Well, I, I, I find that hard to believe that that company <laughs> will change what they're doing. But what can happen is, is that perhaps uh, there will no longer be a demand uh, for their product and people will become educated. And I, I just have to believe that uh, the, the country of Argentina and other countries are using that or maybe not getting the right information, but let's talk about it. The, um, on a worldwide scale, here's a stat for you. Two billion people suffer from hunger and a billion are obese. So I really want to lump those in that really the obese are starving. And the reason many of the obese are obese is because their body they're bringing in this stuff that they call food, but we better call franken food. Well, it's food. the cheap food. Well, well it's franken food. Yeah. The body doesn't recognize it as having any nutritional value. So they continue to say, oh, what's this? Yeah. I don't know what to do with this. I'll stick it on the thighs, and let's, maybe some real food will come in. And yeah, and usually the, it doesn't. And the proof of this is really in the uh, populations that are poorer, you, get, you notice that they're heavier. Or when they are eating foods that were not their na native diet, the American true. Indian. Yep. Uh, the American Indian was a lean, healthy individual with not a lot of chronic disease, and it was the infectious disease the white man bestowed on them. And then now we see so many of them uh, inflamed and bloated because they're eating foods that are not their natural diet. And it's kind of forced on them because if you want to be on a reservation, you eat the white man's food. You can't go hunting anymore. Yeah. So it's uh, definitely a tragic uh, thing. Folks, please pick up our Health Signals newsletter. Please pick up our Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. I can't stress uh, enough in these times when you need the extra vitamins and minerals that are missing in our soil. We have it right here in and our Primal Edge. And you need it from an ancient soil uh, before things were being sprayed that we don't even know how to pronounce. So we'll be yep. right back. Give us a call, 877-927-6648. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. 
He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by. TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And welcome back. Nico and Paige here on Living a Primal Lifestyle. And we we're talking really about big pharma here. And one of the things I came across the other day was this uh, alkaloid, uh, which is uh, Kratom. K-R-A-T-O-M. Yeah, and it's uh, being used for pain management, and it's a natural product. And uh, one of the things that people are saying about it, uh, people who have used it, is that it's just as effective as, as the opioids, that, uh, like oxy. Like oxy, so But okay. doesn't have any side effects whatsoever, or it's very hard, uh, very easy to get off of it, and you don't have the sweats and things like that. So, and, folks, we're talking about a natural plant similar to marijuana right. that has opiate capabilities uh, grown and now Big Pharma has a patent on it on no, the what, alkaloids of the plant. What they're doing is going to make it synthetically, and they're make the uh, FDA now the administration for drug enforcement is uh, putting yeah. a temporary schedule of opioid uh, classification one, like marijuana is. So oh, the DEA even, is banning the, DEA, the yeah. plant. So interesting how these these companies these uh, alphabet organizations <laughs> work together. Yeah. Uh, so the plant. The natural form is it's going to be banned. Right. And, and then the, synet one. And the but synet the synthetic is now getting patented by a drug company. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's uh, the DEA says it's an imminent hazard for this. They've got 660 calls between 2010 and 2015 regarding Kratom intoxication. However, these things are very mild as a comparison to the oxys. Uh, there's no extreme deaths. There's no, you know, you can get high off of it but you're not going to get the uh, sweats and the pull that says you have to take it again. But if you're in pain, this is really something. I, I have several clients of mine that are, are in pain on a constant basis that need uh, things like this. These are, you know, the same thing. Cannabis is a, a Schedule One substance, too. And this has some of the same qualities for pain killing as marijuana mm. does. Of course, here in Florida, we're going to be voting on this uh, next month yeah uh, if, if like for not on any other reason uh we we need to uh protect our plant medicines and and get out there and vote even yeah. if uh you know you're not interested in the other part of the voting yeah so the uh one that is the study uh, which took place in 2008 is the synthesized uh variable of this called mgm9 and uh, this well, it's is... got a big long name of the different alkaloids but yeah. um basically the point is, what's the motivation? You know, uh, the pharmaceutical industries have an interest in this, the performance of these opiates and alkaloids that produce this pain relief in this plant. But uh, so ne because they see it works, they have to outlaw the plant. So well, you can't patent it. the plant. But right, you, no, no plants are patentable. That's right. why we don't So the have natural written. thing, so that's why you have to take it out of the legal realm, make it illegal so you can put people in jail, so you get the money from that part, and then you get the money from you know, synthesizing this drug, 
getting the cost up there, I would presume, because uh, growing a plant is mm -hmm. not that hard, and probably Kratom is easy to get and probably not too expensive. But when you're talking about uh, drugs that have been synthesized and studied for years, now we have to get the cost way up there, and then we outlaw the others. So, so if you Google it, it actually other. talks a lot about um, what, what we do know, though, uh, guys, and one of my mentors, Dr. David Brownstein, explained the thing about drugs. What do drugs do? They do two things. They block an enzyme receptor and they interfere with cell membrane functioning, mm -hmm. okay? So, and, and they block cell receptors, and they block enzyme reactions, and enzymes are catalysts of change in the body. You know, we can get materials in or get materials out, but if we don't have the enzymes, enzymes are the workers, what do work? So that's one of the concerns when you take a drug version of something, you don't have the full complement, the, the plant wisdom of the what we call the cofactors and the synergists that balance things out. And that's why it's, it is concerning uh, with, with drugs and instead, you know, most people know that plant medicine is a healthier medicine. So on September 30th, which already passed, Kratom will be illegal, but the synthesized, patentable, and monopolized version will not. Interesting. While the mainstream media often acknowledges that these drunk companies charge large prices for these medications, they can leave out the reason they can do so because they have the full, full support of Uncle Sam. So instead of looking at our government... Mm -hmm. And we do have to look at our government very carefully. We really have to look at these monopolies like Monsanto Bear Company and refuse to do, uh, you know, Well, to we, use what these. you're saying, though, is instead of looking at the corrupt government who has the ability to create and sustain monopolies, the evil drugs in the market are blamed, it's, it's yeah. really a combination. It's a it's Well, a the collusion. companies are pr pressuring the, uh, our officials, maybe bribing. Yeah. And that's what I call it, bribing, when you're giving money to a campaign, you expect a return. That's pretty common knowledge. I mean, So what we, what we want to take note from this is that our historical healing uh, medicines and plants of our planet um, are being taken from us. And, you know, I'm involved with an organization that, that is interested in protecting our historical healing, you know, our... our um, our plans and, and our techniques for healing, and it's important that people pay attention. It's almost as if this is happening before our very eyes, you know, as people are just kind of uh, have eyes wide shut. And It I is happening before our very eyes, no yeah, doubt about it. Yeah. Call, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, eyes wide shut. So. Um, now, you said you knew somebody that uh, was very knowledgeable well, in Kratom. Yeah, I do. So, I mean, I've heard of it. I, I'm not real familiar with I'm Kratom, not either. but um, I do think it's another example of perhaps the Kratom, um, you know, them taking that and making it illegal will be similar to what happened in the 50s when the government and the drug enforcement organizations created what they called reefer madness, mm -hmm. which was where marijuana was demonized. Mm -hmm. And they did a lot of uh, information explaining that there were dangers of it yeah. and uh, then took it into the situation that we've got now. So how many of our plants will this happen to? Will it happen to the dandelion, you know, which mm -hmm. keeps our liver clean? I mean, at what point will nature be owned by corporations? Um, at what point will we lose the history of using uh, the creator's solutions for both health and longevity and vibrancy. Well, just imagine going into a wild environment and you recognize the Kratom plant and you know what the uh, what the the relief it can bring and you're in the trail and something happens where you need something like that. Uh, you're going to have a cop around there saying, no, no, don't pick that up. It might hurt you. You know, uh, I mean, you know, we, we have to have knowledge of these plants and I think that's really missing in our modern United States living. We don't know a lot about plants. There's a few people around the nation that do. Practical herbalism. Practical so, herbalism. Yeah, and pa picking up books on plants, especially in your native area, this is really huge because when uh, the uh, grid does go down and you need medicine, you're not going to have the drugstore around the corner that's going to be open. You're going to need to know how to get medication on your own from people around you. That's why we talk about, you know, educating uh, yourself what your neighbors can offer you. But also, we need to educate ourselves what our wild environment can still offer us. And it's not so wild. Like you said, dandelions grow everywhere. Right. Maybe Kratom, and uh, we know marijuana used to grow everywhere in the United States as, as hemp with the other species. Well, it wasn't is, only grow, from what I understand, yeah, even they were our, actually four, mandated, yeah, mandated. our forefathers were, it was part of the economy. They were mandated that X amount of their 
fields needed to be growing hemp because yeah. it was used for the rope, it was used for the paper, it was used for everything. Yeah. But just for those of you, kratom, it's called Mitrogyna speciosa. It's known as kratom, and it's a tropical evergreen tree in the coffee family. Um, so here's so another enjoy plant. enjoy your coffee. Yeah, so here's another plant that, um, that the industry is trying to take control of, but we say take control of your health, become educated, learn more so you can live more. Be right back. Thanks. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Join Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS Profile Scanner, the Global Market Pulse, next on TFNN. And welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. We had a question in the chat room and they wanted us to talk about turmeric. So I'm just going to give a few minutes of history and then maybe right. you can highlight a few of the benefits. Yep. And if you have any questions about it, turmeric is one of those wonderful uh, plant foods that... Um, and one of the spice cabinet number ones to have. And because there's so many things and so many benefits to the body, but turmeric or cucumber longa and several other species of this family grow wild in the forests of Southern Asia and also India, Indonesia, et cetera. And all of these areas have traditionally used it culinarily and for medicinal use. And in the Indian Ayurvedic or ancient Indian medicine of India, um, the system of herbal medicine, turmeric is known as strengthening and warming, warming to the whole body. And the traditional uses in India, they've been used to improve digestion, to improve intestinal flora, to eliminate worms, to relieve gas, to cleanse and strengthen the liver and the gallbladder, and to normalize menstruation, relieve swelling, pain. It just, the list goes on and on. That's in true. fact, some of the 
greatest research today in natural medicine. If you'd like to get more information on the best ways to use turmeric, uh, visit our friends over at greenmedinfo.com, the world's large, largest repository of NIH, government published, etc. cetera, um, studies you will find there, uh, not funded by a pharmaceutical company, but focusing on the benefits of natural medicine. Yeah, and uh, it's huge because I have this in my medicine cabinet, which is uh, where all my spices are. Yeah, well, this, your spice cabinet in your home is your natural yeah. And one of the pantry. interesting things is, uh, uh, as I was using turmeric uh, a lot, I usually use it on my pork and I use it on the most meats. That's chicken. very important because you need to take turmeric with a fat. Yes. It is best absorbed well. with it. It, li yeah. it likes and also, being with fat. It also likes black pepper. And that uh, makes pepper. makes it more biodegradable to our uh, intestines. But if you buy the spice, folks, you've got to look for a company that doesn't irradiate their spices. So just going into the grocery store and buying that brand, I don't know, yeah. McCormick's or whatever, if it's not there, they, they irradiate their spices. The radiation means, you know, it, it kills the biofield. So you yeah. need to look for different so brands. So this particular drug or spice, as we call it, is promotes youthful, radiant skin, mm -hmm. promotes healthy mood balance, supports jo joint and muscle health, cardiovascular function, it gives a healthy inflammatory response, and it supports cognitive function. So really, this particular spice affects your whole body everywhere, inside, outside the brain, and everything. It's uh, a I beautiful mean, thing. It's, they're, they're saying <clears throat> that it actually has a better pain-relieving ability than any of the Cox inhibitors mm -hmm. that are pharmaceutical. Yeah. So, and another thing too is uh, you notice that the people who are using this around the world are usually in a harsh environment. You know, those the high, those desert communities. Uh, your body's continually under stress mm -hmm. because of the climate, because it's no longer a Serengeti plain. Uh, they're using these things because the they have found that the, the benefits are huge. So if you go to Egypt, if you go to uh, Casablanca, you're going to find this in use every single place. Well, what's even more interesting is that the people of these countries that have traditionally included uh, turmeric in their curries and this kind of a thing, you, we notice that they don't suffer from the diseases. And one of the really strong areas, and I think you have it up on the Telestrator, is, is um, the benefit for the brain. Because somehow or another, this fat-soluble herb that loves fat, the brain's full of fat, gets crosses the brain barrier mm -hmm. and really helps us have greater brain health. And I think that's fascinating. Uh, the research that's showing there, for, even for depression, actually works better than many of these antidepressant drugs yeah. for people. And, um, you know, although we, the, the scary thing is the more we share about these healing foods, we, you know, I hope none of these foods that are in our spice cabinets end up going away of the marijuana or now the kratom. So we need to be- Or even Monsanto. <laughs> well, yeah, that's even the worst. But I uh, hope you learned something today, and make sure you have a great day. Be well, and we'll see you next show. Thanks for sticking around, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.